Well, South Australia has about 143,000 small businesses and collectively it's about 98% of all businesses in the state. So we are very much a small business state. We work very closely with local government, the local government association, but also councils around the state in terms of their interactions with business. And it's been a very, very good partnership with the LGA. It's fair to say most businesses were affected very, very substantially in that early lockdown period. What we've seen as, as restrictions have eased is some businesses have come out of that quite well. Even during the lockdown period, some businesses were doing very well, such as the, the food and the supermarket areas. But businesses in hospitality, accommodation, the tourism sector really, really did struggle when people weren't able to move around the state. And hopefully we're on an upward path, but I'd have to say there is a large degree of uncertainty at the moment because we look across the border at Victoria and you see what's happened over there and what happened very quickly and everyone's conscious of that so it's very hard to plan what the future looks like. I think the councils have actually risen to the challenge and, and certainly in my time in this role, which is now nearly six years, uh, have come a long way in terms of their interaction with their business community. The Small Business Friendly Council program is basically sets out a charter for councils to sign up to, to help their small business community. So it's about bridging that gap that's often been there between councils and their business community. There are a number of priorities and one is establishing a local business group or indeed working with your local business group. It's about paying your accounts on time, being a leader in that area, procuring locally when it makes sense. So we're not saying you must procure locally, but support your local businesses. Have a dispute resolution process. If there's a dispute, how do we work our way through that? What is the process if the business has a dispute? Finally, we just ask councils to report to us what are the things you're doing with your business community. And we ask them to report once a year. We have a workshop once a year where we bring the best practice from the councils to speak and talk to other councils, and it's about sharing of information. So far we've got 33 of the 68 councils on board and that's been over the space of about three years. We've got a number who are preparing to join up and is, are now exploring it and COVID has triggered uh, a number of councils to relook at whether they, they join up. It's about working together, understanding each other's point of view and finding solutions to issues. Mm -hmm.